Lenovo is pretty serious about its smart home products, and when it was the first to launch a smart display with Google Assistant inside a while ago, we were all pretty impressed. And here at IFA 2019, the company has a new version of the smart display to show that feels very reminiscent of the Google Home Hub. It's basically a seven inch shrunken down version of what already exists as the Lenovo smart display. Those were eight inch and 10 inch models. Here is a seven inch version. So I'm gonna compare this with the Home Hub, which is basically cost exactly the same and probably what you're gonna be comparing it with too. This is a seven inch Full HD-ish display that looks a lot glossier than I'm used to on my home hub. Uh, instead of having a surface that's more screen than anything else, the Lenovo smart display has a speaker that's firing forward. So if you're here uh, trying to use this to watch a video and you want to hear the instructions more clearly, this might be better for you. There's also a camera above the display here, so you can use this to make video calls via Duo if you want. Now, we weren't able to test that out because this isn't set up yet, uh, but for those of you who are more privacy conscious, there is a shutter you can use to close off the webcam so that no one's peering in and looking at you when you don't want to. Also, the processor here is a MediaTek processor compared to the Qualcomm ones that were on the 8 and 10 inch smart displays, uh, as well as what's on the Home Hub. So performance might be different. Uh, again, in day-to-day -day use, that's where it will show. For now, from our hands-on, we didn't notice a huge delay. Aside from that, this is basically the Home Hub like every other Google-based smart display you've used. We used it to ask for the weather. We used it to ask about the time in New York because we are in Germany and math is hard. What time is it in New York? The time in New York, New York, USA is 8.14 a.m. We also used it to pull up YouTube videos of The Bachelor because I miss USA. Play Bachelor in Paradise on YouTube. Oh, 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 Dean's talking to Kate. Hey, Google, stop. Sorry, I haven't seen this yet. Spoilers. And because you're most likely going to put this in your kitchen next to your stove, for example, we pulled up a recipe via the All Recipe app and we're able to go through the steps just by asking Google to move forward or tell us what the ingredients are. So it's really very handy to use. The only minute differences here uh, between this experience and the Google branded experience is the OS that it's running under the hood. But the user, like yourself, probably won't be able to tell the difference. You just won't be able to say cast a video to the Lenovo Smart Display the way you would be able to with a Nest Hub or Nest Hub Max. The Lenovo Smart Display, the seven inch version, will be available from October in Europe and the US at $129 or euros, which is basically the same again as the Nest Hub cost. So really what you're gonna be considering for your home depends on how much you need a camera or whether you want the speaker to be facing forwards. Lenovo also introduced two new smart tabs. If you recall, there was a smart tab that was that would slot into a speaker base and enable Alexa to be on the tablet in some sort of ambient mode. This is similar, except for this one uses the Google Assistant and launches the Pixel's charging stand UI when the kickstand is open like that. That's how it works for this smart tab. For the other one, however, the Pixel charging UI kicks in when you slide it into a dock that Lenovo also makes. If these are more your speed, they're also available. This bigger one over here with the kickstand built in is available from September at 249, whereas the other one, which is basically a tablet that slides into a charging base, will start at 119 uh, in October. When they're not docked or when the kickstand is latched back in place though, these are basically your standard Android tablets. Before you spend your money on all of this stuff though, be sure to wait till we get our hands on one for a full review to see if it's worth your investment. In the meantime, stay tuned to Engadget.com for all of the news out of IFA 2019.